okay, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to graph the systems of inequalities that are given. In this case, we're given a circle and a line. So when we go to graph this, a couple things we want to keep in mind is remember that if it's less than or greater than, you have to use a dashed figure. So you would use a dashed line or a dashed circle. Um, if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you always use a solid line. Um, and then I just look at the symbol to figure out where I would shade. You can also use test points if that's easier for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph this one first. And so to graph this one, what I want to do is I need to find the center and the radius. So the center, remember, is whatever is being subtracted from both x and y. So in this case, our center would be at 0, 1. This circle has been shifted up 1. Okay, and the radius is at the square root of this because remember this is r squared. So we would do the square root of 4, which is going to give us 2. So what we want to do is go 2 in every single direction. And I went one too many on that one, sorry. I started from the origin, 1, 2, 1, 2. And then with this, what we're going to do is because it does not include it, we are going to make this a dashed circle, okay? So we would make this a dashed circle instead of a solid circle because it does not include it. So what we're looking for is all values with a radius greater than 2. So we're looking for all values that are on the outside of this circle. Like I said, if you wanted to pick a test point, you could. So I could pick like 0, 0 and plug it in. And I would get 0 plus 1, which is 1. And 1 is not greater than 4, so it's not a true statement. So you have to shade the other region. So that's one way of doing it. Um, the other way is just to know that what greater than means. So we're looking for all y values, or we're in this case, not y values, but all values that are on the outside of that radius. Okay, the second thing that we are going to do is to graph this one we want to solve for y. So when we do that, we would have negative 2y. My x would move to the other side. And then we want to divide everything by negative 2. Make sure that you divide every single term by negative 2. And don't forget that when you divide by a negative, that does flip the inequality. So it becomes y is greater than or equal to one half x plus two. So if we graph this one, we would start at two, because remember we always start at the y-intercept, and then our slope tells us to go up one over two, and we could continue doing that just to get some points to make it straight um, until you get to the end of the graph, just that way you're better at drawing a straight line. Um, and for this one, it's going to be solid because it does include it. So um, it does include all of the points on there. Again, if you wanted to use a test point in your original equation, I would always plug it back in their original equation just in case you made a mistake with solving it. So like, let's say that I picked a test point again of 0, 0. If I plug in 0 minus 0, because 2 times 0 is 0, I get 0, which is not less than or equal to negative 4, so that's not true, so we have to shade the opposite region. So basically what we are going to shade here is we are going to shade all values that are on the outside of, so that are above this line. So I'm going to shade this area here and it's going to get rid of everything that I have. Okay, um, let me make that a little bit smaller. And we're going to shade all of this region here. We want to make sure that we are on the outside of the circle and above the line. So we would shade this entire region in up here and all values in that area are going to be greater than the circle, so on the outside of the circle, and also greater than the line. So like if I picked any point in here, um, let's say for example, if I pick the point one, two, three, let me go back down to a smaller brush size. So if I go to 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, so let's say that I pick this point here, it should be true for both of them. So if I plug that value in for both of these, it would give us a true statement because it's on the outside of the circle and it's also above the line. So you can always pick test points to see if they work. 
As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.